before we start the video let me give you a brief introduction about myself i'm chandresh mahajan who is founder and chief educator at exergic which is india's most trusted and comprehensive institute for online gate preparation i got an all india rank 37 from gate mechanical engineering and i am an ex indian oil officer having 6 plus years of teaching experience as of now to know more about our gate courses you can contact us on these details also you can download exergic gate preparation app from google play store the link is available in the description of video let us have a look at this question and i am very sure that many of the aspirants have a misconcept about this question so in this question i just want you to read the question and solve it on your own if you want you can uh, listen to me while i explain the question to you but after that you can pause the video and try to solve it on your own after that only look at my solution so the question says that a vertical jet of liquid a vertical jet of liquid density is given 850 kg per meter cube is issuing upward from nozzle of exit diameter 70 mm at a velocity of 15 meter per second have a look at this diagram this is the nozzle you can clearly see that it is issuing the water in the upward direction this diameter is given to you the velocity with which it is leaving is given to you as 15 meter per second right diameter is given 70 mm and the density of water is also given to you the question further says that a flat plate weighing 250 newton is supported only by the jet impact this is the plate the weight of the plate is given to you okay dimensions are not given they are not required only the weight of the plate is given and that is solely supported by the impact the impact of the jet is going to apply a force in the direction of the impact right means in the upward direction that is going to balance the weight totally okay weight is given as 250 newton if all losses are neglected then the equilibrium then the equilibrium height h of the plate above nozzle exit will be how much in meters means if you assume that any and all losses are neglected then what is going to be the equilibrium height h this height of the plate above the nozzle end now in this question there are some very important points and concepts to understand which will help you in numericals firstly i would like to differentiate this case from the case of a nozzle issuing the jet into the atmosphere where there was no weight we have seen such questions that there is a nozzle which is issuing water right to the atmosphere at the top point what happens what is what is the condition at the top point velocity is zero how because at point 1 it is issued at some velocity in the vertical direction as that water packet moves up its kinetic energy is converted to potential energy and when the trend, complete kinetic energy is complete is converted to potential energy its velocity becomes zero and then it free falls right and then it falls you would have seen this in different fountains right in that case if height h was asked it was very easy to determine because this height h you can find out by applying bernoulli's between point 1 and point 2 velocity at 1 they will give you velocity at 2 will be zero since both of them are open to atmosphere p1 is equal to p2 so you can find out this height h by v is equal to root 2 gh v2 sorry v1 is equal to root 2 gh right v2 is zero p1 p2 are same this v1 will be known h you can calculate this funda was applied in the case of vertical jet when no weight was supported but things are different in this case here a weight is supported so you cannot apply this expression 
Rather, we have to use impulse momentum equation here for the liquid jet. Because this effectively, this jet effectively has to apply a force in the upward direction to balance a weight. Here it was not happening, the jet was not supporting any weight, it was just issued to the atmosphere. So this case is different than this case that I told you. Do not do the mistake of doing V2 as 0, you will get the wrong answer, you will not be able to solve it. What is happening here, let's understand. When the water is issued from here up to point 0.1 to point 0.2, its kinetic energy is changing, potential energy is changing, right? Kinetic energy decreasing, potential energy increasing. At point 0.2, velocity will be less than 1, but it will not be 0. It will impact the plate with a certain velocity. Why? Why not it is 0? Here it was 0, but here it is not 0. Look. Here, we were considering the top point of the jet, right? It is issued the maximum height that it can reach. That point was point number 2. But in this case, it is not that point. This point 2, although its name is point 2, but this point is not the highest point of this jet. If you remove this plate now, this water jet will reach even higher at some other point. Due to the weight, the, this height, this h has been reduced. In this case also, in case of an open jet, if you place some weight, the jet will, the height of the jet will reduce. So be very clear that this point 2 is not the highest point and this plate is not supported at the highest point where velocity was 0. This plate is supported at some other point where velocity is not 0. So V2 is not 0. Be very clear in this. Also, V2 is less than V1 because energy conversion is happening from 1 to 2. Correct? Now, you would have got some clarity that, okay, we understood why V2 is not to be 0 and we can find out the velocity at 2. How? Apply the Bernoulli's again. Both of them are in atmosphere. P1 will be equal to P2. We will do the calculation, don't worry. And using the uh, Bernoulli's at least we can find out the expression for V2 and how we can find out V2 and we will be able to find it. Now what next? What is the next step? Next step would be to balance the weight, right? This jet is balancing the weight. That will be our next equation that we will apply, right? What will be the equation? That net force being applied, V initial minus V final multiplied by mass flow rate is equal to net force along the jet which has to be equal to the weight right mass flow rate we can easily calculate because the area means the diameter is given to us velocity is given to us density is given to us so rho a v will help us in finding out mass flow rate weight we know already we will proceed in this equation we will be able to solve this equation but again you will stuck at a point that will be the velocity initial and final velocity both i have told you till this point that v2 is not zero right so what students will do if they somehow are able to understand in the question while solving the question that no v2 will not be zero then what mistake they will do they will think that in this jet final velocity is not zero an initial velocity is v1. They will put v1 as initial and final velocity as v2 and again they will get the wrong answer. Why? Look. 1 to 2. What is happening? 1 to 2. Energy conversion is happening. 1 to 2. The jet is not impacting. The jet is impacting after point 0.2. Beyond point 0.2 it is impacting, at point 0.2 or from 1 to 2 it is not impacting it. Consider this to be a horizontal jet. Do one thing, this whole diagram you rotate by 90 degree in the clockwise direction. So jet will move like this, horizontal jet, plate will be vertical. In that case, 1 and 2 point, what will be the velocity of 1 on 2? Same, 1 and 2 velocity, V1 will be equal to V2. V1 will not be equal to, V2 will not be less than V1. V1 and V2 will be same. 
when this will be rotated by 90 degree why because both the points 1 and 2 are at the same datum level there is no conversion of kinetic and potential energy but here there is a conversion of kinetic to potential energy so from 1 to 2 strike is not happening from 1 to 2 just energy is converting from kinetic to potential if this was horizontal the v1 and v2 will be same getting my point so in this case it is not striking it with the velocity at 1 it is striking it with the velocity at 2 so do not do this mistake that you take initial velocity as 1 while striking it the velocity will be the initial velocity of strike these velocities are the velocities of strike and not any random velocity you cannot say that before this nozzle the water was coming from a reservoir where the velocity was 0 so we will take the initial velocity as 0 you cannot do like this now the initial velocity of what point of any random point you cannot select that I will select the velocity of the reservoir or I will select the velocity inside the nozzle or outside the nozzle or this point in the jet no you cannot do this clearly this velocity initial and final has to be the velocity is while impacting initial velocity of impact and final velocity is after impact getting my point so in the impact when you consider impact this is the initial velocity not this one because from 1 to 2 velocity has reduced and final velocity will be how much final velocity in this direction will be how much it will be 0 again why look in this case at the top point velocity is not 0 we know that I know that that at the top point velocity is not 0 so again some of you may think that sir at the top point when it is just striking velocity is not 0 then how can final velocity you are saying as 0 no you are still not getting this point look in case of vertical jet at the top point the velocity was 0 but that case is totally separate don't take that case here you will only confuse if you consider that case here think purely from the point of view of impact of jet there is a jet which is impacting it with a velocity and after impact the final velocity along the, this direction will be how much along this direction is the keyword it will be zero even if it is having some velocity at point 2 it will be having some velocity at point 2 but after impact its velocity will be in this direction right or not how much will be the component of this velocity in the vertical up direction zero so even if there is some final velocity but that component of velocity is that velocity is having no component in the vertical direction so this velocity is again I am reminding you I told this already in the theory that these velocities are along the direction of force right they are applying a force which will be equal to weight so these velocities initial and final are in the direction of force this is the direction of force initial velocity in this direction v2 moving up final velocity in this direction zero since these velocities vf have zero component in the vertical direction so this will be zero not by the concept of that jet which we issue in the atmosphere and at the top point it is zero don't think that here that final velocity will be zero because ultimately it will reach the top point no not at all and this is not the top point of this jet I have told you you remove the plate it will move even higher so we have divided this into two parts one is energy conversion from 1 to 2 and then the hitting of the plate from 2 up to the plate these are the two parts in first part we apply Bernoulli in the second part we apply the concept of impact right this is the funda to solve this question if any of the students don't know this concept 
they are not fully aware of this concept they are not aware that where uh, you know which velocities to take they will 100% make the mistake no matter if he is a good student he may get confused into this question especially if he starts relating this with the case of jet which is freely issued without the weight so as i told you we will apply the bernoulli's equation in this section and the impulse momentum equation in the upper section for the two and the plate so applying bernoulli's equation first between point one and two this is the part for point one this is for point two since both p1 and p2 are in atmosphere so p atm p atm gets cancelled out we can take this term here so that g z2 minus z1 term we can have and we know that the difference of datum z2 minus z1 is equal to h so we can write z2 minus z1 as h okay we have multiplied it by 2 so it will be 2 here and denominator 2 will be gone so from this equation we can write this expression for v2 we cannot find the v2 obviously because h is not known and we don't want to find out v2 our purpose is to find out h so in order to find out h we have to get v2 getting my point from this equation since v1 is known to us 15 meter per second given to us in the equation g 9.81 if we find out v2 h we can calculate from this expression and how do we find out v2 for that we are going to use this section v2's value should be enough to support the plate using impulse of that force right i have told that concept already now consider the concept of jet here so for that part the force applied by the jet will be mass flow rate multiplied by v initial minus v final mass flow rate is density area velocity rho av area was 70 mm diameter was 70 mm so divided with 1000 to convert into meter velocity is the absolute velocity of that particular jet because mass flow rate does not change mass flow rate remains same so we have used the initial velocity where the area is known right that points velocity we have applied final velocity for this case i have already told you that vf's component will be zero in the direction of force so this is zero and initial velocity will be v2 got it this force should be enough to support the weight which is 250 newton right so this force is equal to weight this expression when you solve you get the value of v2 and when you put this value of v2 here you get the value of h as 10.144 meter look at the solution how small two three four steps just simple three five three to five steps are there but what values to take and where those values are to, uh, to be used this is very important in this question even such simple looking question can be you know difficult to solve if you don't know how to apply these expressions right that is why for gate knowing the concept is good but where to apply those concepts how to apply those concepts that is very important because many numericals uh, that are going to be asked in exam will require this skill set all right